Hello folks, Off Grid Bo here and it's a rainy nasty day so what a good day to go check out some pre-made cabins and see what the prices look like nowadays after everything that's been happening. So let's go take a look guys. size in here. All right, first things first, let's see what the price is. All right, it's at 12 by 30 for 20,000. Pretty spacious. Lots of windows, nice and bright. All right, guys, as you know, I've made these kind of videos before. And I'm gonna say the same thing I said back then, I'll say it now. By no means do I think this is the best option or the cheapest. But for those that lack building experience and want a quick fix, these may be some good options for you and semi-reasonable. So let's keep going and let's look at some more. All right, next we have this one here. Looks like about a similar size without a porch. Let's go check it out. Okay. This one has more windows in it. I like that. Let's get right to it. All right. 23,000. This one's a 12 by 24. A little bit smaller. Not the porch, but the, uh, the windows in here is what I really like. But pretty similar. Pretty similar setup as the last one here. All right, another cabin, a similar design. This one looks quite a bit bigger. Let's go take a look inside. Oh, wow. This one's huge. This is huge, guys. Let's take a look at the price in here. All right, this one is 24,000 and it's a 14 by 42. And this by far seems like the best deal I've seen here. I mean, basically for the size of this cabin and the price, um, that's why I think this is definitely the best deal I've seen so far. I mean, this really is spacious. I like this a lot. Um, if we take a look at this one more time, it also comes with insulated floor, insulated ceilings, and insulated windows. Well, this one's still here. I think this was here the last time I was here a couple of years ago. Let's go. Uh, let's go take a look again, see what the prices look like. Already, right outside, we can see uh, included standard options here. I'll let that sit here for a second so you can read it. More options and prices depending on the dimensions. So at the very bottom here, it says this model on our lot is a 14 by 26, the one we're looking at with an eight by 26 porch and it's 19,000. Okay, that's how I remember it. Pretty nice. Go check upstairs. Decent amount of space up here. I'd say it looks roughly around eight feet tall at the peak here, upstairs in the loft. Looks like we got a little balcony. This is very nice. I think this is probably my favorite just because of the loft space uh, <clears throat> and the balcony. Got the wraparound porch. Um, that other that other cabin before this one though was pretty nice too. If you want a more simple approach, but this is uh, this is nice. 
I think this is, in, like I said, in a video from a couple years ago. This door we entered at the porch. Another door on this side. Porch wraps all the way around. Pretty sweet. All right, folks, now this one they have set up as a garage, two-door garage. But let's go take a look for the heck of it here. Very spacious in here. And from what I'm seeing is it has two different options. This is obviously garage pricing and cabin pricing. So this can be a model for a cabin. And here we go for the specs again. Uh, I'm not sure what size this one is but here's the prices you know not too shabby I like this is this would make a nice uh, spacious cabin for sure I guess let me see this picture here that's what it would look like as the cabin instead of having the two garage doors on it All right, let's take a look upstairs. Okay, very large space up here as well. Yeah, this, this would definitely be a, a pretty large cabin, guys. I do like it. Not my favorite, but space-wise, this is definitely the, uh, the biggest. Another thing, guys, all these sheds and cabins are built on skids. So they are technically movable. I'm not sure how that changes the regulations or building codes as far as these go, but I'm assuming it makes it easier. All right guys, all in all, I'm kind of shocked. I really don't think, well, I'll put it to the other way. I thought the prices would be way higher considering the past few years we've had. Um, again, do I think this is the best option? No, but it's, it's better than I expected, honestly. And um, this might be good for some people. You know, um, maybe you're a little older and this would be an easier option for you or whatever the case may be. But overall, pretty impressed and surprised. But anyways, let's get back to the cabin. And I'm going to show you guys how different the woods are looking right now. It's been raining and like 40 degrees for the past four or five days. And so the snow is basically all gone. But let's go there. Get that wood stove going and finish this video up. Guys, one last thing. Wouldn't feel right if I didn't give these guys a little shout out. Um, this lot is located in a town called Johnstown, New York, and it's called Mohawk Valley Sheds, Cabins, and More. And um, I'm pretty sure they have like a Facebook page and a website. Um, so if you're in the area, great. If you're not, um, well, it'd be a good place to kind of look around and get some ideas and see what pricing could be you know, elsewhere. Okay. Hope that helped, guys. Let's go.
So a few videos back, I, uh, I showed you guys that I was super excited I got this book, which is Dick Prennicke's Journals. And um, it's so fascinating going through it and just reading what he's been doing or was doing day by day. And so I try to read a couple of them every day. It's, it's pretty interesting. So I figured since I uh, had the camera out and I was about to do this, I would read you one of them and take you along with me. This is... Um, Let's see, October 16th, 1974. It was an overcast and calm 25 degrees. He wrote, This morning, as I entered the woodshed for my fire starting kindling, the place fairly exploded. The squirrel had been in a big cardboard box, and I startled him as much as he did me getting out of there. He was plenty scared and angry, too. Such language as that guy did spit out from a spruce behind the shed. What was he doing in the box anyways? The flaps folded and tucked, leaving only a small opening in the center. I took it down and opened it. So that was it. After the kids had left, I found two loaves of their heavy bread. I brought one down for bird and squirrel feed. The stuff saws just like wood and tastes only slightly different. I had put it in the box and forgotten about it. The squirrel has eaten about half of it. No wonder he leaves the smoked fish skins on the stuff untouched. Yeah. It's, it's so neat going back and reading some of these. Um, one thing after reading a lot of these, I mean, I haven't gotten too far into it, but um, I have noticed that Dick Prennicke um, I guess wasn't al as alone as I thought he was. He had a lot of visitors and a lot of company out to the cabin. Um, and it's really neat reading through these. But I just want to share that with you guys. You guys hear that rain? Perfect sleeping weather for sure. But it's just been kind of crummy the past few days. You know, you kind of get sick of it. But for sleeping, it's pretty good. When it hits that tin roof, and it puts you right to sleep. But um, anyways, guys, I know this is uh, not the typical video, but I do try to put one of these out every once in a while. You know, every couple of years, I put new models at some of these sites, and it's really fun to kind of go see what's out there. And uh, it's fun to see how much they cost and to give some of you guys some more possibilities. And anyways, regardless, I just appreciate you coming along, like always. And um, I hope all of you have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye, guys.